We welcome you into the studio. Eagles insider Dave Spadaro joined by second-year wide receiver Josh Huff. Eagles expecting so much of Josh Huff this season. And uh, Josh, welcome back to the NovaCare Complex year two. A year older, year wiser. Is that the way it goes? Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, so how was the offseason? The offseason was really, really good for me. Um, I was able to get away from football and just, you know, hone in and focus on what's most important in life, and that's my family. And, um, you know, I was able to go on a cruise with my wife and, um, you know, go to different parts of the world, Jamaica, um, Grand Cayman, and um, Cosmel, Mexico. Are you, and a, are you a diver? No, I don't. I don't. You're on the wall. You're on the water guy, huh? No, <laughs> yeah. I've seen too many freak accidents, <laughs> and I'd rather stay away from that. So, I understand that. Um, I don't really go past my waist. That's right. But but it was good for you to get away and just kind of decompress after. They always say the rookie season is so fast, and so, so many long. things happen, yeah. and it just like it's just a blur after. When you look at it, you go, "Whoa, what just happened here?" Is that the is that the way it was for you? Most definitely. I, I um. After I end up getting injured the second preseason um, game, you know, everything kind of went by fast for me and I got behind really, really far and uh, it took me a while to catch up. Um, I didn't really start getting um, back comfortable with myself and the way I move until probably four or four or five weeks left into the season. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just being away from football after the season, it was able to, um, I was able to get my confidence back. I was able to um, focus in and, and see what's most important in life and why I really love playing this game. How much do you think success at the NFL level now is is going to be mental for you? Rather than, I mean, you're fast enough, you're big enough, strong. How much of it's going to be mental? It's definitely going to be a, a mental. Uh, I'd say about 90% of it is going to be mental um, just because you're going to have those up and down games where things don't go your way and you're going to face adversity. It's how you bounce back from it. And, um, you know, learn from your mistakes and um, that's what I did from this past season. I learned from my rookie mistakes and um, I'm looking forward to uh, doing better than what I did last year. Do you feel that you've got all the physical tools to, to be a success in the NFL? Most definitely I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Do you, so so what when you say learn from mistakes, is it kind of recognizing what defensive players do? Is it kind of just learning the nuances of playing the wide receiver position? Uh, kind of just recognizing faster what the defenses do and mm -hmm. um, just being aware of um, what our defenders are at once I catch the ball. and. Um, I got to keep it high and tight. You know, this is not college where um, I can keep it low and tight, but still on contact, I bring it up. Um, these guys are much faster and much stronger on this level. And, um, you know, that that really opened my eyes up because I, I made a couple of plays last season, but I also made a couple of mistakes. And um, I learned from that, and I just got to move forward. How much of a difference is there from college football to the NFL? Um, I wouldn't say it's a, a huge difference. I would just say, um, the guys are a lot faster, the, the uh, defense alignment are a lot faster, a lot smarter, um, same as the rest of the defense. You know, it's those guys that, you know, rack up experiences that makes them really well, uh, that makes them all pro and um, all defensive teams or whatnot. Right. There's nobody who's a bad player in the NFL. Nobody who's a bad player. player. Uh, yeah. And, you know, that comes with experience and film work. And um, that's one thing that I uh, added to my game was to just become a film rat. Um, get in the film room as much as I can and, and learn from other guys, other veterans around the league. And, um, you know, that's, that's my main focus going to this season. A year ago, you were, you know, just drafted, coming into Philadelphia, eyes wide open. How much more of a veteran do you feel like after one year? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that... Uh, You're like a grizzled old veteran here. I'm not saying no, it's not, a grizzled old veteran. <laughs> not, here, okay. not yet, not yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I gained some knowledge from... Um, Jeremy Macklin from Raleigh Cooper and um, Jordan Matthews, uh, just from him being on the field as much as he was and, um, you know, us being in the same rookie class and us wanting to um, be successful together. And, um, you know, we were watching film of Dez Bryant and Jordan Nelson, and all the top receivers in the game to see what we can learn from them and um, take from those guys. So um, I would say I'm kind of a, a, a newbie vet, I guess. Okay, good. I like that. So, so the Eagles go out and sign Miles Austin. Mm -hmm. Nelson Aguilar is the first pick. How does how as a receiver, how do you react to that? I love it. I love those additions. Um, I played against Nelson a couple of times in college, and um, he's a, a well sought after um, receiver who runs really great routes. And um, I appreciate him from that. And Miles Austin, he's a sa savvy veteran. Uh, I've learned things from him already since him being here. And, um, you know, I love those things. I'm a competitor. I'm not going to shy away from competition. So um, those signups were big for the receiver group in general. 
Do you set out goals, Josh? Do you write down these are my individual goals for a season? No, nah, not really. I just um, my main thing is to meditate about everything and see everything before it happens. So um, whatever whatever comes, it comes. Um, I just know when I have the ball in my hand, I'm gonna make the most of most of the opportunity and and run with it. And um, I know when I have the ball in my hand, I'm one of the better receivers in the game. Phase two of the off-season program is here. That means you can get out on the f football field. Good for you to get back out and catch passes and, and get the rust knocked off a little bit, get ready for the season? Most definitely. Um, it, it's a chance for us to show the coaches of um, how far we've grown and um, the leadership that we can take going on to the next level. And, um, and I think I've, I've showed that so far and how much I've matured and, and I'm willing to help guys who um, just doesn't quite get it because I, I was once in those shoes last year. So um, that's my main thing is to show this coaches that I've been improved um, both on the field and off the field as a leader. I don't think people understand that when you got hurt, how much of a setback that was for you. It, 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 it's not only taking away your time on the practice field, getting reps, but it does set you back mentally, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, just just being away from being away from the sport so long that you love, that you grew to love, and um, you know, just to have that huge of a setback. Um, where you missing time and you know you watching guys practice and that you know you want to be on the field but you really can't do anything because you're trying to recover and and um, get back to health and um, you know it it kind of really messed with me in my head because um, I knew what I can do on the field and um, just to see those things just to see other guys make those plays um, it kind of just added fuel to the fire but it also kind of made me want to rush back and get onto the field um, which I wasn't ready for. Well, those, those bad things are in the past now. Mm -hmm. New season, new man, Josh Huff. Thanks for joining us in studio here Thanks on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.